We're gonna meet our instructor outside the bus. First start with our mirror brackets by shaking them. No loose or missing screws or bolts. Top side. We'll check our stop arm. It's not broken and our bladder isn't leaking. We'll check all of our clearance lights down both sides of our bus in the front to make sure they're working and not broken. Our wiper blades, no loose or missing screws, and the condition of them aren't torn or frayed. Our washer fluid is not empty or have loose or missing bolts. Our coolant level is visible through the glass or is in between the markings on the container. Our radiator is not cracked or leaking. Our power steering fluid reservoir should be between the add and fold on the dipstick, no loose or missing bolts. We'll shake the other mirror brackets over here. We'll check all of our reflectors to make sure they're clean and present. Next, we're gonna check our steering shaft should not be bent or cracked. Our steering gearbox should not be cracked or have loose or missing bolts. And the lines coming from them are not cracked or leaking. Our pitman arm is not bent or cracked. And the castle nut and cotter pin is present and not broken. Our drag link is not bent or cracked, loose or missing bolts. Our upper and lower control arms is not bent or cracked, and the castle nut is, and cotter pin is present and not broken. <laughs> and the tie rod, you can see it coming behind there, is not bent or cracked. We'll go to the frame next to make sure it's not dented or cracked. Our leaf spring mounts front. And rear, along with our shackle, no loose or missing bolts, should not be cracked. Our leaf spring should not be cracked and they should not be shifted out of alignment. Our U-bolt is not cracked and is present. Our shock absorber has no loose or missing bolts and is not leaking. Our brake chamber is not cracked or leaking, loose or missing bolts. Our ABS lines coming from them are not cracked or leaking. Our push rod is not cracked or bent Missing cotter pins. Our slack adjuster is not bent or cracked. And together they should be close to a 90 degree angle and should have no more than an inch of play. We're gonna check our tire tread. It should be no less than 432 of an inch. The tire condition, we're checking for abrasions, bruises, or cuts. We'll check our inflation to what is suggested on the tire. Check that with a tire pressure gauge and our valve stem is not bent and the cap is present. We're gonna check our rim, should not be dented, cracked, or welded. Our lug nuts are not cracked or silvering. Our hub oil seal has no loose or missing bolts and is not leaking. Our brake drum, we will check for dents, cracks, or excessive rust. And our brake lining, we will check for excessive wear. Our mud flap should have no loose or missing bolts. It should not be torn or missing. We have both our front and rear air tanks. We'll check those to make sure there's no loose or missing bolts and it should not be cracked or leaking. Our State Highway Patrol sticker is present and it is current. Our hazard light is working and not broken. The rear side of our stop light arm, or I'm sorry, stop sign 
is working and not broken.